Okay, so there's something that I really want to do. Some of you might already be knowing where we're going with this. I watch a lot of Brad Mondo. I don't have hair cutting scissors, but these should be fine, right? So I have a big forehead. I have a forehead that goes like literally five fingers. I'm also starting to see like a receding hairline, which, you know, that's how my body wants to age. So be it. I'm trying to do a healthy diet and lifestyle, but I can't fight genetics. And I know, <laughs> I know my family has these, these receding hairlines. So uh, I think curtain bangs are going to help me out with that. Maybe a little bit something here also to hide those forehead wrinkles. I know in my head I shouldn't have a problem with it, but I wear makeup to sometimes boost my confidence. I see nothing wrong with enhancing what I feel I would like to enhance with some bangs. <laughs> so I think you just kind of like pull them forward. You take a bunch, you twist, you make sure to pull nice and tight and next thing next, chop away. Okay, so I did kind of lie to you guys. I, I'm not doing that at home, no. I do watch Brad Mondo. I have cut my own bangs before. Uh, it ain't happening. I am going to go get bangs today, but I would like them to be straight and not too short. I just really wanted to play my last prank for Vlogmas in July, because this is gonna be the end of it. This is the last video for Vlogmas in July. And I figured what better way than to end with something with a new beginning. Henceforth, my era of bangs. So every time I get them, I regret the decision immediately. But I am hoping this time will be different. I, I usually do them by myself. I've had micro bangs, I've had curtain bangs, I've had a kind of mullet kind of thing where I had bangs, no hair, and then hair. I've done the side shaved, and then the bangs all kind of go over, kind of emo style. I can't say I particularly am fond of any of those. The micro bangs actually weren't that bad because I had permed poofy hair, which I kind of enjoyed. Actually, you know what, this would be a great time to show you some of the bangs I have done in my life. So, uh, roll that footage. <laughs> Uh, and speaking of rolling footage, I would like to note, I had my morning coffee. I did my two miles on the treadmill. And I did weightlifting. I also had a very nutritious and delicious breakfast consisting of sweet potatoes, tuna, mayo with avocado oil, a little bit of sweet relish, some honey mustard, and some banana peppers and spinach. It was a lot. And it was only 550 calories. And I got 40 grams of protein. That leaves me a lot of calories left for the day and also a significant amount of protein left to get in. I won't deny that. But I'm feeling satiated from breakfast. I have tons of energy thanks to starting my day with working out. Um, and I'm feeling hopeful because I do want these bangs. I, I carefully thought it through. I want them, I'm gonna get them. So I am gonna go to the mall because I also wanna get a shade of lipstick that is good for me. And I have never asked anyone's opinion on what I should get. And as far as the hair goes, there's like three options. I'm just gonna see which one takes a walk in. That being said, wish me luck. All right, so you guys can't see them right now because of the wind, but I do have curtain banks. I will show you them later. Also, uh, this is the color kind of sexy in MAC. <laughs> I like it. So I want to tell you about my shopping experience or the whole experience and then um, we'll reconvene back at the house so that you can actually see my hair and my final thoughts without being windblown. So I stopped at the haircut place first because I was walking by and they had a sign, walk-ins welcome, that's what I was looking for. I sat down in the chair, I said I want bangs and the first thing that I was asked have you had bangs before? Um, instantly at ease, instantly at ease. They, I, I don't remember which creator told me this, I think it was Luxaria that said they should ask if you've ever had bangs before, before going ahead and just doing a bang look because you might be having a crisis. And <laughs> something about that stuck in my head and when I heard the stylist ask me that, I instantly was like, at ease um, and you can't see it right now they did a perfect job it was only ten dollars I'm either right where I need to be or not at all oh yep I'm not where I need to be at all 
Uh, I'm having a mental brain fart of where I'm supposed to be at right now. Okay, so I took the wrong way out of a parking lot, which means now I have to walk on a main road where more people can see me vlog myself. It's fine. Why not? It's the end of Vlogmas. Am I lost? Okay, I'm just gonna keep walking. Uh, I've got like an hour until the bus comes. Uh, I got lost in Vegas when I was like 12 because I exited the bathroom out of the wrong door and my mom couldn't find me for like two hours. That was fun. I, I'm definitely lost though, I'm definitely lost. Anyway, at least I know where I'm going now. Do I? Yeah, I do. I'm, I don't think I do actually. I think I'm actually lost. Oh, I did go the wrong way, damn it. Okay, well, we're taking a walk, guys. Like this mall, I've walked it like a million times and then something in my brain goes, nope, you don't know the way anymore. And it, I think it's because I got out of the wrong side of the mall. You know what the weird thing is, is that every time I get lost, I actually end up in the same spot that I always get lost at, which is weird. It's fine, it's more exercise. Uh, I might be rambling because I, I'm very confused and people keep commenting. I, I am a bit of a spectacle, so I think, I think I'm gonna turn this off for right now and try and find my way back and I will see you guys back at home. Don't worry guys, I made it back home. Uh, you guys don't watch me because I'm smart. You watch me because I'm beautiful. Uh, you guys watch me probably because I'm relatable. But let's go ahead and, and finish off Vlogmas in July. I wanna, I wanna think about this whole month with you guys. I didn't get over my plateau. I am still very much in my plateau. And when I say plateau, it is me skipping around in this four pound, five pound area for months. There's a good chance that I still need to do some tweaking. I haven't figured it out exactly what I need to do because I have increased my exercise and I am unwilling to go under 1400 calories because when I was at 1200 calories for a long time, I was on 1200 calories for like a year and a half. I started having my period every week and that, that was documented. You guys saw me going like, what the hell? And then I had to go get tests and I had to go to doctor's exam, exams. And after a lot of it, we were like, hey, let's increase it. So I don't really wanna mess with that too much. So maybe less preserved foods? I don't think I eat that many, honestly. I think I just have to be in this plateau for a little bit until I can figure it out or until it moves on its own. I don't, does it do that? Maybe I should look into that. I don't know if it does that. But when I was losing weight, you guys would see an active pound a week loss and that just, that just stopped. And it stopped right around when I upped my calories. And again, I don't wanna lower my calories cause I don't wanna be on my period every week. <laughs> uh, other than the plateau, what else have we done? We went hiking. He tricked me. The shorter distance is going to be steeper because it's going to the same spot. So you are going to go up high. You're, you're gonna climb more deeply to get to the same area. We went kayaking. We went sailing. And I get a high five. I went shopping for eyebrow stuff. I got a haircut. What do you guys think? Oh, I think you can hear Steven's call. I mean, it's not drastic. It's just helping hide this, right? And once I train my hair, and yes, you have to train your hair, it will be more of a side sweep. So it should cover up some of these wrinkles here, hopefully. It's because I always go like this. When you're surprised, actually go like this. Oh, I'm still lifting them. When you're surprised, go like this. And then everyone will know you're surprised and you won't get wrinkles. I think I got outside a lot more than I normally would. I've tried a lot of new things. I got things to make me feel good about things that I had been nitpicking about myself. And I got some things that I needed for working out and being outdoors to protect my skin and have good footwear because footwear when doing this sort of stuff is important. Oh, and we spent some time with the dogs outside, which you know, we normally do anyway, but you got to see it. We tried a few different smoothies that I had never tried before. I was very much stuck in my, my blueberry and whey protein mixture, which is good. And I'll probably usually stick to it, but uh, that, that mango spinach smoothie, hands down the best. It is hands down so good. I'm excited about this. I'm, I'm really excited about this actually. I need to experiment with smoothies more. Ready? So I'll be, I'll be using that more often. Uh, and I had some days where I was on the struggle bus. I'm very much in a bad mood and I just woke up this way. I was also sick and did not complete a full vlogmas. I missed two days. 
I'm gonna say I had a really great month. I really enjoyed sharing it with you guys. I'm a little sad to say goodbye on it. Um, I've had a lot of interaction that I have genuinely enjoyed. And I get so nervous on the comments. I get so nervous. I don't know what it is about me typing stuff, but I, I really get nervous about it and I, I constantly edit it and then I still see something I missed. It's scary to leave comments. I'm getting over that too. I've been leaving comments on other people's on other people's videos and I've been active in chats. I don't have video footage of that, but that is something that I have been doing to push myself out of my own comfort level, especially because it is important to me. I know how much your guys' comments mean to me. I wanna make sure I'm doing that to creators I also enjoy. Can you guys hear him? I feel like I could hear him in this room. Maybe I do need soundproofing. Can he hear me, do you think? Uh, so <laughs> to end off Vlogmas, it was a lot of rambling. It was a lot of impulsive ideas. It was me getting lost in thought. <laughs> and physically on my way home. And I think that the best way to end this today, oh, and also I don't know what I'm having for dinner. It's 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 3.30, so, so probably should think about that, but I'm still full from breakfast. I am going to end this without showing you my food, even though I think I started this vlog saying I'm gonna show you every meal. I think I did say that. I'm not going to. Uh, please subscribe if you like watching someone who makes lots of promises and doesn't always fulfill them, but tries their hardest. With that, I will say I appreciate you guys for watching. If this is your first time watching, uh, guess what? There's like 180 videos that you can go back and watch to get to get caught up. So enjoy that. Uh, you can skip the first 50. They're trash. But with that, I'm going to show you some footage you've never seen. Say goodbye, and I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm gonna fix my camera. What's wrong with your camera? <laughs> That's not at all. Uh, yeah, I know I look silly. Um, as you guys can see, it was a little messy. Hopefully you guys could see it. Um, I don't know how much of this got all of that. Oh wait, do I need to do it? You can't. Oop, there we go. Hi. Oh no, 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 no. I vlog. <laughs> oh, awesome. Have a good one. Thank you, you too. You know, they can, they can, they can get money lended off against it because that's the value of all their worst. So yeah. There's this, whole other, there's this whole other thing going on that has much less to do with art for art's sake as it, there is money and the rich people doing weird shit. So normally... No, no. And additional ingredient and additional ingredients. You're getting in this bad mood and you don't know why and it's because the thoughts are so normal to have that you kind of don't recognize that you are compounding something without addressing it. Oop, we're gonna maybe bump into it. Maybe I can catch it here. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm caught. Okay, so I know you guys can't see it, but there is sauteed bean sprouts on the bottom and then uh, shrimp and then 238 grams of shrimp. You know what? Why am I talking? I'm a fireball.